Welcome to the Retro Movie Review. The show that turns movie geekery into a blood sport. Two geeks will compete in a two-minute movie rant-off and the loser will suffer the button of doom. So now it's time to bring out the geeks. Geek number one is Clive. Geek number two is Chris. And they'll be ranting to avoid something like this. (laughs) And this. This week, our geeks will be debating the devils. In France in 1634, Cardinal Richelieu fears the growing popularity and power of the charismatic priest, Urbain Grandier. So he directs an evil baron to destroy him. The baron exploits a psychotic inquisitor, Father Pierre, and the bitter mother superior, Jean, to put Grandier on trial for witchcraft. Adapted from Aldous Huxley's book, The Devils of Loudoun, it's directed by Ken Russell and stars Oliver Reed as Grandier and Vanessa Redgrave as Sister Jean. It also features Dudley Sutton, Michael Gotthard and Murray Melvin. Devils was immediately targeted by the censors due to its graphic scenes of torture and an infamous orgy sequence. But after receiving a critical mauling on its release in 1971, it's now considered a classic. Chris will be defending the Devils, so he's up first. Are you ready, geeks? Yes. Yes. Your two-minute rant starts now. This is a visionary work from a truly original filmmaker, filled with excellent performances, not least magnificent, charismatic, brooding and utterly brilliant Oliver Reed, who said this was his best ever performance. Vanessa Redgrave is utterly convincing as the infatuated and deranged mother superior, whose personal journey is both horrific and touching. There's a tremendous turn by... Well, if Ollie Reed thinks this is his best film, he must have been plastered when he watched it. He is over-the-top, camp and ridiculous. And Redgrave is hopeless. She shambles about looking vacant and what's going on with her neck? The Devils is just a cheap exercise in sense-abating and an incredibly unsophisticated attack on the Catholic Church. The whole thing looks like the product It's of one ma- of the bravest films of all time. So brave, in fact, that it was banned by 17 local authorities. In Italy, it was banned completely, and the cast were threatened with up to three years' imprisonment. The excellent set design by Derek Jarman was influenced by the visionary film Metropolis. It's a wonderfully realised city that has real weight. It's a lived-in, breathing, suffering city. Good God, not Metropolis again. Why does everyone always say they're influenced by Metropolis? And anyway, it looks far more like Monty Python's Holy Grail. Prancing kings, wailing nuns, watery visions, surprising moustaches. And to add to the unintentional hilarity, it's even got George Roper in it. The cast tried to make up for the nonsense. Star Wars, Batman, Blade Runner, Radio Gaga, all influenced by Metropolis. The themes of sex, death, decay, corruption and madness are typical of the astonishing films of Ken Russell, the finest British filmmaker of his or any other generation. This film is comparable to Shakespeare in the depth, complexity and power of the work. Lust, envy, passion... Shakespeare? Do me a favour. This is a movie that buckles under the weight of its own pretension from the opening scene. But perhaps its biggest crime is the fact that Russell manages to, the remarkable feat of making an orgy of nuns really dull to watch. The Devils is as mad as a box of possessed clergymen and not in a good way. A poor... Unleash hell. You're joking, aren't you? Retro Movie Review. Thanks for watching. Ta-ra!